everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. And today we're taking a look at the new expansion for Onitama, Light and Shadow. However, Violet and Ruby never played Onitama before, so I taught them that first. We played that for a bit before we jumped into this expansion. So we're going to talk a little bit about your thoughts on Onitama, and then we'll talk about the expansion. So here we go. So first, let's talk about base Onitama, if you've never played this game. Uh, there's a, just realize when you're looking at my copy of it, though, someone painted my little guys. They're just blue and red. And I have these upgraded glossy cards. Other than that, there's, it's, this is what the base game looks like. You're always going to play with five cards. There are tons of different cards that can be taken, especially if you pull promos and expansion cards. But in the base game, there's still a lot of cards. And you're only going to play with five. Each player is going to get two, and one goes in the middle. On a player's turn, you're going to have the different folks here with your master in the middle. You're going to pick one of your cards. You're going to, the black is your piece. You can use any of your pieces, and you can move to one of the other spots on the card. So I could, for example, take this person and move them to there. Once you do that, the card that you used goes to the middle spot, and you take the card that was in its place. And then this person would go, so maybe they will move this person here like this. And then they take the tiger card. If you move into somebody else, so for example, I might play the monkey card to move here. You'll capture that piece. It's removed from the game. And you just keep going. That You have to play a card in your turn. You have to move a piece. If you capture your opponent's master with any piece, you win the game. If your master lands in the dojo of the opponent, you also win the game. So that's how you play base Onitama. When you play Light and Shadow, there are two ways to play the game. So let's talk about the first way, which is Shadow. Each player is going to have a board and a shield. Uh, this is a board that's pretty, pretty much a exact copy of the regular board. The main difference is you're going to put a ninja in one of the two spaces next to the master. This is made possible because you're only playing with two of the regular guys and the master. And then your ninja is in one of these spots, but it's secretly hidden. Now, when a player plays a card in this game, so let's say I play the crab. I decide I'm going to move my master forward one spot. You may also move the ninja. You don't have to. And the ninja doesn't have to move the same way. So I might say, I'm going to move my ninja here, and he's going to jump over this way moving him like this. You cannot move your ninja onto a spot that has one of your people, although you can capture somebody with your ninja, and when you do, you have to reveal where your ninja is, obviously, to capture them. And in fact, if somebody else, if my ninja was secretly here on my little board, and my opponent moves there, I have to say, hey, you caught my ninja. So the ninja is basically an invisible piece. So both players are playing with four pieces, uh, one of them being invisible. Now at the beginning of the game, each player gets two lanterns. At the end of your turn, after you've done everything else, where you play the cards, switch it, you definitely you have to have moved one of these three pieces, and you may or may not have moved the ninja, you may play a lantern. When you play a lantern, you're picking a row or a column, and you're just basically saying, is your ninja in that column? And your opponent says, yes or no. So it gives you some idea of where they are. Other than that, rules are the same. Now when you're playing the Path of Light, only one person is going to be having a shield and a board. And this is ninjas versus the other player. This is an asymmetrical game. And the ninjas lose if both of them are captured. They also lose if you get your master over here into the dojo like normal. They win if they kill the master. Now, in this case, the person who's the light player, the person with the people on the board, still has two lanterns, which are used the same way. But other than that, the two ninjas will start on the other side of the board, and they will pick a card, and they have to move a ninja. And so you're sitting here trying to figure out where they moved. Again, you're trying to land on them and kill them, and the ninjas are trying to move around and kill your master. So this is the first expansion I know that comes with no cards. In the, this is the box. You can keep everything in this box. Or you can try to squish it in the main box. It might fit without inserts. I'm not sure. You may have to keep it separate. These are nice little neoprene mats, the little boards. Uh, the ninjas are really cool pieces. I've always liked you know, the Onitama Stark abstract type models 
have always appealed to me. I like them. The lanterns are fine. These boards fold up so they fit in a box, but you are going to have to bend it back a little bit so that when you put it here, it fits around your board pretty well. The rules are very clearly explained. Yeah, the components are fine. Okay, so first, before we talk about the expansion, let's just talk about Onitama and what you all think of it. I really like Onitama. That's why it's part of the Dice Tower Essential line. Um, it is, I've always liked it because, well, you know what, before I say why I like it, let's see if you guys like it or not. Did you like it? Yes. Why not? Oh. Yes. <laughs> I liked it too. What is it? What games does it remind you of? Chess. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, chess. Uh, or checkers, I guess, I don't know. The one with like, the really colorful pieces, what was it called? Oh, yeah, Kamisato. Yeah. So, do you, how would you compare this to chess? Well, I mean, it's a basic square board with pieces that you move. So, I mean, do you like this better than chess, or do you like chess better? Which one was chess again? <laughs> chess is the one with a rook and a pawns and queens and kings. Okay, chess is more complicated. I like this one better. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one has only five cards. What do you think about that? Because we played multiple games, and each game I switched out the cards. It felt like they were the same, though. It was very strategic. Like, if you played this and you got that one next round, it was very enjoyable. Ruby half the time forgot that um, the pawns can't really go to the end. I don't know why she thought that. But no, okay. the pawns can go. They just can't win you the game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did not realize that. You said the cards feel the same, but sometimes you play a game, and, you, and it's a hard... Some, you don't have many cards that move forward or that move you to the left. That is and you true. have to keep that in mind. Yeah, like it's very annoying to me whenever we were like right behind the gate and we didn't have a card that moved us forward. <laughs> well, Ruby's not telling you this, so we'll tell you that Ruby got furiously angry in the game um, because she said she could never win and then in that same game won. <laughs> Am I Violet wrong? was judging me for rushing, trying to figure out every single spot where her character was. Yeah, exactly. Go. You, were, you were being very. Oh, my word. Okay, so what would your ratings be for regular only time, ignoring the expansion? Seven and a half. Seven eight. and a half? An eight? Okay. So that's Onitama. This is a game I cannot recommend enough, folks, to people. It's so quick. Games are like 15 minutes or less. Every game feels different because you're playing with five different cards. If you like chess, but you don't want to memorize all the different starting moves and everything, it's a really nice alternative to that. Light and Shadow changes the game a lot. So there are two ways to play. We've gone through both of them. There's the way of shadow, where both players are hidden, and then the way of light, where one player is hidden and the other player is uh, trying to figure out where the hidden one is. So let's talk about the shadow one first. That's where you both have a hidden ninja. What do you think of that one? It was horrifying. I did not know where a ninja was the entire time. I just actually accidentally stepped on it once. Oh, yeah. She accidentally stepped on mine and hers. <laughs> oh, you you were on mine. Yeah, the ninja's a neat idea. It definitely changes the game a lot. Some people are going to like it because of the hidden information, and some people aren't. Because you have to kind of keep track of, you can say, well, they could have moved. I know the ninja started in one of these two spots. It could have moved to one of these two spots. So maybe it moved, maybe it didn't. And you have to keep guessing, and you're just trying to outthink the other person using a lantern to find that spot. Now, the way of light is very different. Only one person has to figure out where the shadow pieces are. That's very stressful. <laughs> yeah. Very stressful because you have no idea where those ninjas are. And the ninjas are stressful because the other person is kind of like just punching in the dark. And you're afraid that they will just be like, they go right to where the ninja is. <laughs> yeah. What would you all think about that one? I found it very interesting. I liked how... Um and we got to move around. You kept assuming that we kept getting closer, even though we were just trying to, sh we were struggling to get out of the second row. <laughs> but you did get closer. Then in the second game, I thought, no way are you moving closer. And you just walked all the way up and stabbed my guy. <laughs> <laughs> which, which of the two ways do you think is better? Hmm. I kind of like both equally. If you're not looking for too much stress of trying to figure out what the ninja is, you would just play the regular Onitama. Um, you mean like Especially which one do I think better? If you're is not good, I keep track. Yeah. Uh, if you're looking for a less stressful game, uh, probably Shadow. I would. Because you both have a hidden one. Yeah, I mean, if you're playing light, one team is extremely stressed, and the other one is like, "Ha, yay! I will kill you." 
<laughs> that's true. I would make the more experienced person play the non ninjas probably. Yeah, that's why you were that. So what would be? Well, let me ask you this then. Would you rather play Only Tama by itself or with the expansion? With the expansion. Really? You yeah. like the ninjas better? I don't know. I just think it adds more personality. So what would you rate this expansion? Eight and a half. Okay. Yeah, same for me. Wow. All right. Well, actually, the same for me, eight and a half, uh, for Light and Shadow. But I rate the original game a nine. I think Onitama is amazing. Now, do I want to play with this? Sometimes. Because it does add a level of stress. You need to realize going into Light and Shadow, it changes the game considerably. You are now playing a hidden movement game and an abstract strategy. Yes, you can puzzle everything out. When I, I, I played against both of them. They were both the ninjas and I was the side of light. And I was using lanterns to mark spots on the board that I thought maybe they were in. If I were to pick a strategy at the beginning, if you only have like a few spots, I would just choose a lantern in that row. Because instead of like having where they could literally be anywhere, I would just like, I, at least I know they are most likely to be in this row at the beginning. Well, in the path of, sh of light, the good guy player is not allowed to use a lantern on the first turn. Ah. Uh. Okay, just turn one. After that, they can use lanterns. But still, you're right. If there's only a few spots, it's better to figure it out then. It's just that if I say, are you someone in that row? And you say yes, I'm like, well, but, but which spot? <laughs> However, if you use a lantern carefully, you can nail exactly where a ninja is. And once you know exactly where they are, then you can kind of figure out where they move and possibly and are safe from them. Maybe. I still think it's much harder for the light player. I really do. I think the ninja player has a distinct advantage in this game. Mm -hmm. But that's fine because, it's again, it's an expansion. So eight and a half, you said, for this one? So that is Onitama and its expansion, Light and Shadow. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. Have fun hiding in the shadows. How are they supposed to hear you? I have a microphone on. You're still whispering. I know.